Hey hey, what up all 200,000 of my Ouya friends? I'm Xerix, and today I'm going to show you how to set up your Ouya the easy way. Here's all you got to do. Go to Ouya.world, scroll down and click on the Tutorials category, and click on How to Set Up an Ouya the Easy Way. Then, just follow the guide. I have a couple Ouyas sent in from my friend Elemental Draco 218 he said that he's been having some issues with these units, getting them set up for the community server, and asked if I'd be willing to get them set up and rooted for him. One of these Ouyas is the limited edition bronze, which is very fun. I've never seen it before in real life, and it's a lot of fun to get to see it here. It's very pretty. I'm going to demo this guy using one of these units. Rather than do the work myself, I opted to finish writing a PowerShell script to do most of the work for anyone who wants to set up an Ouya. Let's dive in. Because I've never turned on this Ouya, I don't know what state it's in. I may just need to set it up and have it use the community server and root it. I might, I might need to reflash the Ouya with the latest firmware and then do those steps. We'll have to try it out together and see. Following this guide, I've completed step one, which is hook up your Ouya to everything. There's a bunch of different things to do, and I'm now going to turn the Ouya on. Next, I am going to open up PowerShell on my computer, and I'm also going to copy this command. And bring that over to PowerShell. In PowerShell, you can just right-click to paste a command or press Control-V to paste it. I can see that the Ouya is booted up now, which is fantastic. I've got the command here in my PowerShell window, and all I need to do is press Enter to run it. Looking at the results here from PowerShell, it says that it is set to use Ouya.cviska.de. That's the community server set up by Christian Weiska. He's fantastic. Thank you so much, Christian, for creating this for us. It looks like it's not working correctly on ping. So maybe we just need to go edit the host file and have that working. From the PowerShell script, I see that the option to edit the host file is number two. So I'm going to press two enter and it looks happy everything is set up now and I assume that the only other thing that needs done is rooting it let's check and see if it's rooted or not number five according to this the Ouya has the stock super user binary it is not rooted so I'm gonna go ahead and press six to root the Ouya okay done well, that was easy. Congratulations, Elemental Draco. I'm officially done. If I needed to reflash the firmware, I would do that, but it looks like everything's good to go. All I need to do is turn on a controller and pair it, and we'd be done. Uh, since I am done, I'm going to press Q and quit. Okay, I forgot. Um, after you re root the Ouya, you don't have it with all of the DRM bypass, you need to do one more thing in order to have that fully unlocked to play almost every game on the Ouya to the max capability. And I'm going to demo that real quick here before I leave you. So from PowerShell, I'm just going to do the same thing as before with running this command to open up the menu. And I need to click on the Unlock Ouya Games menu, or select the Ouya Games option, which will bypass the DRM for most every game. That's option number seven here. And this will go and download some APK files and install them on your Ouya. Great, now it's telling us to go to the Make menu and launch the Exposed app. From Make, come here. And I now see that there are some games installed, so we'll go into the exposed installer and launch. Coming back to our PowerShell, I just need to let this take care of what it needs to thereafter. So I hit this, it clicks the thing, it clicks the thing, it clicks the thing, it clicks the thing, 
it waits for a second and then it'll click the thing and it'll reboot if you're using a non-standard resolution a such as 720p instead of 1080 you might have to do these steps yourself and you can see them listed here and all it had you do was go to the framework menu click on the OK to the prompt click uh, install update click allow on the super user access click OK for reboot and pretty easy to do just something you don't have to deal with if you're using a normal screen Coming back to the OUYA, let's follow the instructions. So it says, wait for the OUYA to reboot, then launch Exposed from the Make menu again. So we'll come over here, and I'll just use U instead of O to get in. And then I just need to hit Enter. So, Enter. Great, we're done. That was pretty easy. Just forgot to do that previously.